Hello students, welcome to the fifth part of Heron's formula. Let us have a quick recap of how to find the square root of a number by division method. We have already done this in the earlier video lesson. Let's quickly revise it. Finding the square root of a number by long division method. Now here, the number given is 729. It is a perfect square of 27. That means the square root of 729 is 27. Similarly, 33.64. 5.8, the whole square, will give you the number 33.64. Because here the remainder is 0, here also the remainder is 0. Now why is it that we are learning the square root of a number by division method? Many a times when you are solving problems based on Heron's formula, you get the area of the triangle in roots. You could get the answer as 20 root 3 or 80 root 6. So, do you have to leave the answer as it is or do you need to solve it further? It depends on the question. If the question tells you to find the area in decimals, then obviously you have to calculate further. So it is imperative that you know how to find the square root of a number by division method. So 729 units, tens and hundreds. So this you are going to pair it. So 7 remains alone. You put a bar on top and your units and tens together. So 29. And then 2 into 2 gives you 4. You take the square of the number. You cannot take 3 because 3 3s are 9 which is a number greater than 7. I have explained this in the earlier video lessons also. So when you subtract 4 from 7 you get 3. Bring down the numbers these two. Okay. That is this entire pair. Bring it together. So you get the number as 29. Now you have multiplied by 2. So you have to add 2 here. So 2 plus 2 is 4. I have not shown you that 2 out here. Now, this is 329 and here it is 4. So, you have to add one more number out here. You have to put in one more number. So, if you do 47 into 7, you get 329. But if you put the number 8 out here, you will get a number greater than 329. So, you cannot take it. So, 47 into 7 is 329. Now that you put in 7 here, you have to add 7 here. So, it becomes 47 plus 7 add that number and put it here. So the square root of 729 is 27. Now likewise you will do this also square root of 33.64. Now this is a decimal number so these two digits together you are going to take and so is the case out here. 5 5s are 25, balance is 8, bring down this entire number. Because they are taken together. There is a bar on top. Bring that down. Now you multiply it by 5. So you add 5. So it is 10. You have to put in one number here. So 108 into 8. If you put 107. If you put 7 here. Then it becomes 107 into 7. Which is a smaller number than 864. 108 into 8 gives you exactly 864. And the remainder is 0. So, the square root of 33.64 is 5.8. Let us look at another problem. Square root of 3. You all are aware that root 3 is 1.732, but I have solved it out here for you. 3. It's an irrational, root 3 is an irrational number. So, uh, square root of 3. So, I write the number 3 out here. Point add how many of our zeros you want. I am doing it up to three uh, digits after the decimal. Okay. So, 1 into 1 is 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. I have multiplied by 1, so I have to add 1 to it. 1 plus 1 gives you 2. Now, bring down these two numbers. It's a pair. So, bring them down, so you get two zeros. Now, you have to add one number out here. You have to put in one number. So, if I write here 7, then you have to do 27 into 7. 
if i if i put in 5 year then you will have to do 25 into 5 if i put 8 year you will have to write 28 into 8 so you have to check which number to put which is closest to this number so 27 into 7 is 189 the number you wrote here the quotient was 7 so you have to add 7 to it when you add 7 to it you get 34 when you subtract you get 11 so 34 year and 11 year now what does the rule say continue doing it bring down the other numbers so zero you bring down this zero you already know you have to put a decimal place here okay so bring down the zeros you have to put in one number out here the number that i put here is 3 because if i put your 4 it becomes 344 into 4 which is a number greater than this so the number that i add out here is 3 so 343 into 3 gives me 1029 now when you subtract you get the number 71 and when you add this you get 3 4 now the rule says here i have done it up to three digits bring down the other two zeros here i have brought it down so again you have to put in one number here so 3 4 6 2 into 2 is 6924 if i take a number 3 here then it becomes 3463 into 3 which will be greater than 7100 so this is the way you do a uh, square root of a number by division method so you all are aware that root 3 is 1.732 you can continue doing this all you have to do is keep adding the number of zeros now this is the ninth question from exercise 12.2 it is a very important question a field is in the shape of a trapezium whose parallel sides are 25 meter and 10 meter the non parallel sides are 14 and 13 meter you have to find the area of the field this is the ninth question students diagram is not given in the textbook you have to draw the diagram so this is the way you are going to draw it a field in the shape of a trapezium so take a trapezium i have taken trapezium a b c d and parallel sides are 25 and 10 now if you look at the diagram dc is longer than ab so obviously length dc is taken as 25 meter the whole thing is 25 meter and one of the parallel side is 10 meter so ab is equal to 10 meter you have to find the area of the field you have to find the area of this quadrilateral a b c d which is a trapezium you can even draw it like this this is also a trapezium here of course i have just written the answers out here now let us solve this problem in order to find the area of this quadrilateral a b c d we will break it into steps uh, first we will prove this quadrilateral a b e d is a parallelogram now when does a quadrilateral become a parallelogram a quadrilateral becomes a parallelogram when both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel so ab is parallel to dc because the entire figure is a trapezium and in a trapezium this pair of opposite side is parallel so if ab is parallel to dc then ab will be parallel to de because d dash e dash c is in between d and c so that is mentioned out here ab is parallel to de now ad and be how do they become parallel that is by way of construction so you have to construct be parallel ad so ad parallel be by construction and ab is parallel to de which we have already proved since both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel the figure becomes a 
parallelogram. So we have proved quadrilateral A, B, E, D is a parallelogram. So that is the first step. Now let us find out the missing values. It is given in the question that this side DC, the whole thing, one of the parallel side is 25. Now, this AD is 13. It is already given. If AD is 13, what will be BE? That will also be 13 because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Likewise, one of the parallel side given is 10. So, AB is 10. Therefore, DE will also be 10. Both the uh, opposite sides, they are going to be congruent because it is a parallelogram. So, 13, 13, 10, 10. The whole thing is 25. DE is 10. So, what will be EC? EC is DC minus ED. So, it is equal to 15 meter. So, we have got the missing values. AD is 13. BE is 13. DE is 10 because this is 10 and EC is the balance that is 50. Now, in order to find the area of this trapezium ABCD, let us first find out the area of this triangle BEC. Now, how do you calculate the area of this triangle BEC? If you look at the diagram, we already know that BE is 13. We just found it, right? EC is 15 and BC is 14, which is given. It is mentioned in the question, the non-parallel sides are 13 and 14. So we have taken this as 13 and this is 14. So since the three sides of the triangle are known, you can use Heron's formula to calculate the area of the triangle. So you get the area of triangle BEC as 84 meter square. Students, by now, you should be knowing how to solve or how to calculate the area of triangle BEC. Find out the semi-perimeter, substitute in Heron's formula and then you come to this conclusion. 21 into 8 into 7 into 6, under root. You know how to find the square root of this. You will split it up and you get the answer as 84 meter square. These steps which are mentioned out here are not compulsory. Directly from this, you can take out the square root and this is what you will get the answer. Okay. Now, after finding out the area of this triangle, what should we do next? This is the second part. Look at triangle BEC. We find now the height of this triangle BEC. So, you take this as the height, BF is the height. Now, why is it that you need to find out the height of this triangle BEC? Because the formula for area of a trapezium is half into sum of the parallel sides into height. So, let us find the height, that is, let us find out this height BF. Now, use the formula, area triangle BEC is half into base into height. You know the area, it is 84. Now, you don't know the height, but you know the base is 15. So, you calculate the height, you get the height as 11.2 meter. So, this is the height. So we have calculated the height of the triangle. Now that you know the height of the triangle and you know the two parallel sides, use formula area of a trapezium. Area of a trapezium is half into sum of the parallel sides into height. That is half AB plus DC. Okay. You add them into BF. That is half into 10 plus 25 into 11.2. And you get the area of the trapezium as 196 meter square. So this is the third step. Uh, let's have a recap of this. Now, what are the steps to solve this problem? First, we proved that this quadrilateral A, B, E, D is a parallelogram. After having proved it's a parallelogram, 
you get this value as 13 because opposite sides are equal. So this is 13, this is 14 and this is 15. By Heron's formula, we found out the area of the triangle. Then you find out the height BF by using the formula for area of a triangle as half into base into height. After you get the height, use the uh, formula for area of the trapezium. Students, this is uh, a homework question. In this quadrilateral ABCD, which is a parallelogram, these three sides are given. You have to calculate the area of the parallelogram. The area of the parallelogram is base into height, but the height is not mentioned out here. So what would you do? Find the area of this triangle by Heron's formula. The area of this triangle will be the same because opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So the area of this triangle ABC multiplied by 2 will give you the area of this entire quadrilateral. So students, question number 9 is a very important question. I want you to go through it again and try to solve it on your own in your book. Thank you.